Welcome to MedHeads, the podcast where we dive into the latest breakthroughs, controversies, and fascinating stories in medicine and healthcare. Today, we're going deep into a substance with a history as colorful as its name, methylene blue. Originally created as a dye in the 19th century, methylene blue has evolved into a powerful medical tool. It has saved lives in cases of methemoglobinemia, been explored for neuroprotection, played a role in cancer diagnostics, and more recently, has been making waves in the world of anti-aging. But is it a miracle molecule or just another overhyped trend? Stick with us, and by the end of this episode, you'll have the full picture. Methylene blue was first synthesized in 1876 by German chemist Heinrich Caro. Initially, it was used for dyeing textiles, think blue jeans. But like many great discoveries, scientists quickly realized its potential in medicine. In the early 20th century, Nobel Prize winning scientist Paul Ehrlich noticed that methylene blue selectively stained certain cells, laying the groundwork for its use in microbiology and histology. From there, it became a staining agent for medical diagnostics and an antimalarial drug, even before the development of chloroquine. Number 1. Methemoglobinemia Treatment Methylene Blue's first major medical breakthrough was in treating methemoglobinemia, a condition where hemoglobin is unable to carry oxygen effectively. It acts as an electron donor, reducing methemoglobin back to normal hemoglobin and restoring oxygen transport in the blood. 2. Vasoplegic Syndrome and Septic Shock Methylene blue is sometimes used in critical care settings for vasoplegic syndrome, a condition that occurs during cardiac surgery when blood vessels dilate excessively, leading to dangerously low blood pressure. It helps increase vascular resistance when other drugs fail. Similarly, research has explored its role in septic shock, where severe infection leads to systemic inflammation and dangerously low blood pressure. Though not a first-line treatment, it has shown promise in cases where traditional vasopressors are ineffective. Number three, cancer and surgical uses. Surgeons also use methylene blue as a dye to help identify sentinel lymph nodes in breast cancer surgeries. This helps determine if cancer has spread. It's also been used in photodynamic therapy where light-activated methylene blue targets and destroys cancer cells. Neuroscientists have been investigating methylene blue as a potential treatment for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. How does it work? Methylene blue enhances mitochondrial function, helping brain cells produce energy more efficiently. It reduces oxidative stress, a major contributor to neurodegeneration. Studies suggest it improves memory and cognitive function in animal models and early human trials. Interestingly, methylene blue can cross the blood-brain barrier, meaning it reaches the brain in significant amounts when administered intravenously. However, while the research is promising, we're still a long way from FDA-approved treatments. Now, this is where things get really exciting. Recent studies have suggested that methylene blue might slow down aging, particularly in the skin. The Science of Methylene Blue and Aging Methylene blue acts as a potent antioxidant, reducing harmful reactive oxygen species, ROS. It boosts collagen and elastin production, helping maintain skin elasticity and reducing wrinkles. Studies on human skin cells show that methylene blue-treated fibroblasts lived longer and remained functional for extended periods. Some beauty companies have already jumped on board, incorporating methylene blue into anti-aging skincare products. Could this be the next big thing in dermatology? Maybe. Beyond skin health, Researchers are exploring whether methylene blue could slow cellular aging in general, potentially extending lifespan and improving overall health. Of course, no medical treatment is without risks. Methylene blue has some significant safety concerns. Serotonin syndrome. If taken with antidepressants, like SSRIs, methylene blue can dangerously increase serotonin levels, leading to agitation, confusion, high blood pressure, and even seizures. Urine and skin discoloration. One harmless but bizarre side effect is that methylene blue can turn urine blue-green and even temporarily tint the skin. Allergic reactions and dosage concerns. High doses can cause dizziness, nausea, and vomiting. In rare cases, it has led to anaphylactic reactions. It's crucial to note that while methylene blue is available as a supplement, self-medicating can be dangerous. 
If you're considering it for any health benefit, consult a medical professional first. So, where does methylene blue stand today? It's already saving lives in emergency medicine, showing promise in neurology, and making waves in anti-aging research. But as always, more studies and clinical trials are needed before we can call it a true miracle drug. If you're curious about Methylene Blue's future applications or want to dive deeper into the science, check out the full studies linked in our show notes. That's all for this episode of MedHeads, brought to you by meducate.com.au, where healthcare professionals can find courses and content to stay ahead in the field. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world of medicine.